get at this interface. It's just to play around with stuff on my screen. So right hand is blue, left hand is red, and it moves around. Now depending on which hand is up first, you know, that's pretty much it. You can play around with this. And the next one is the most interesting part. It's called Tesla, right? I am sure you guys know what Tesla is all about, but check this out. When I bring my fists together like this, right? Check this out. Boom. <laughs> and I think you can hear my robotics parts also reacting, which you can just see. So you can clearly see this, right? And you can see it again. So when I do this, when I bring my fists together, you can see the electricity is charging up. Boom. And then my robotics part starts reacting to it. It also tells me what's the voltage that I'm trying to do. So it's beautiful. Check this out. Once more. Boom. Beautiful, right? And then I have hybrid. Hybrid is where I'm playing around with an object on my screen. It's floating. When I shift it to gravity and I leave my hands, it's going to jump around in the screen. See? It's going to work like it's actual gravity. Like a ping pong ball. It's a little fast. I'll adjust the speed. But when I shift back to normal, you can see I can control the object. This is taken from monolith. It's like a hybrid control. Beautiful, right? And then I have Weaver. So Weaver is like a mesh net. I'll just zoom into the screen so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the mesh net is basically controlled using my hands. I can use it like it's an actual screen, like it's an actual interface of a screen and I can move it around. I can play around with this. I can move it like it's an actual cloth, right? So this is again, number of particles on my screen, which is weaving into a cloth. And you can see the tension, which is determined by the telemetry that you can see on the bottom left. Beautiful, right? So all of this is again determined by my LCD where it says whether it's open or closed. So when I control it on the screen, it is secure. So when I'm holding on to it, it will say that it is secure, right? And finally, what I have is the architect. So I want you guys to look at this. When I move to architect, I'm manipulating this object, right? But I want you to know that my servers are also moving along with this. So let's say I'm just manipulating the object on screen. What happens to my servers? See? On the screen, when I just pan to the left, you'll see that I'm just basically manipulating it from left to right. That I'm just playing around with the object. My servers are also going to get activated along with it. Pretty wonderful, right? So this is the setup, guys. So I've just created a panopticon, which means I'm going to establish this setup in the robo that I'm building shortly. So I'm just playing around with a couple of stuff. Uh, using my robotic equipment and coding alongside with this. And again, we come back to monolith where I'm manipulating the object with my hand again.